Navigating multiple marketing projects can sometimes feel overwhelming, especially when you're trying to keep track of every campaign, piece of content, your budget, and deadlines. And so that's why having a robust marketing dashboard in Asana can make all the difference. And so today I'm going to be showing you how to build the ultimate set of marketing dashboards to help you oversee all of your marketing activities in one place. And so if you're new here, welcome. My name is Marquis. I'm the founder of Surface, a systems improvement consultancy and Asana partner, and I create videos videos like this every week to help you make the most of your Asana investment. And so if you find this tutorial helpful, useful, if it inspires you, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's get into the demo. So what we have here is a master portfolio for different marketing projects. If you've been following along for a little bit, you'll recognize some of these other projects from previous demos. But today we're going to be focusing on the three that we can see right here. So we're going to be taking a look at email campaigns, our paid media campaigns, and then any social media requests and how we can also handle those. So because we're at the portfolio, I'm going to start here and show you what our dashboard looks like for all these various campaigns. And what we've done is we've added in some additional projects here just to give a bit more data to the portfolio. And so keep in mind, you do need to have at least the advanced or legacy business version of Asana to access the portfolio. So when we go into the dashboard, what you're going to see here is it's it's kind of totaled up all of the, the stats in the various projects that we've added to the portfolio. So I've already built them out here, but here we can see the amount of tasks that are in each of these projects. And depending on your use case, this will look a bit different, but these are pretty much standard. This is what you're getting when you fire up a dashboard for the first time inside of Asana. But then we have the different projects by status. So we can see on track, at risk, off track, projects by complexity, right? So that's a custom field that we have at the portfolio level to understand what the complexity of each project is. And then we can see incomplete deliverables. So when we get into the different projects, I'll show you the different deliverables, how they enter the projects and how we're actually assigning all of that work. And so you can see that we have there are seven images here that are incomplete as a deliverable. And then here we have copy. So we have six items of copy to write. And so we can get a real nice breakdown of all the outstanding items. Okay. Then we can see our requests. We'll, we'll take a look at that once we get into the social media requests. We can see what's overdue as well. And so if you're in leadership and you don't have the time or you're not in the weeds and you're not in the projects day to day, you can come to a dashboard like this really quickly and see overall based on the projects you want to add to your portfolio how everything is performing. And so we're going to get into budget a bit later, but you can see um, the remaining budget of all active campaigns, see how many campaigns are active, and then you can see the total placement of the the different channels. So what's happening on Meta, what's going out through X, what's going out through LinkedIn and so on. So let's go back to the list and I'm going to go into our email campaigns project first and I'm going to close this up so we get a bit more space here. And so as you can see, the project's already built out. We've got some sections here. We've built in some rules that update these different custom fields so we can see the audience, right? And so if this was an email campaign, if you're using something like Ghost or Substack, you can have different lists for whether someone is a free user or a paid user or if you want to send this email out to all users versus new users. So that's what we're looking at here. We have some numbers for the total audience. We have the campaign that it's a part of and like what stage we're in of that campaign and then the region that the campaign is being deployed to. So if that's global or uh, one of the other continents that we can drill down into. And so what's nice about this here is in the completed section and let me just go over here for one second. In the completed section, you can see that we've got these two tasks. So these are the winter wellness challenge. We've got exclu exclusive VIP event here as well. And so we can see what the budget was, right? What the budget, um, what was that that was spent? And then we can see the open percentages, bounces, replies, clicks. And so what we're doing here is yes, budget is really important. We want to be able to see that. Okay. If we want to see the, the budget spent, we can add in another formula to get that information. But what we're doing here is we just turn them off for now. We've got these opens, bounces, clicks, and replies. So if you're the marketing manager overseeing this campaign, some of this information uh, getting into here may be a bit manual, but what we're proposing is that you can either enter it manually so that everyone on your team has a clear view of what's going on across your campaigns, or you can take something like this and add a form where every time you submit that information, it populates as a new task. And so you can submit a form for the week ending of that campaign that can be brought into a status update as well. 
And so we're, we're pulling in these numbers. And then what we've done is we've gone in and just created some simple formulas here. So to get the percentage of opens, we're looking at opens multiplied by 100 divided by the total audience. And the total audience is right over here of 40,000 for this specific campaign. So that could be your, your list size or the, the size of the list that are going out to the different audiences. And so because we don't need to have these here, that's why we had them hidden initially. But then we're doing the same thing for bounces. We can go and edit that field. So it's bounces by 100 over total audience as well to get us all that information. And then what's nice, let me just to do that. But when we go to dashboards, now we can see at a high level how everything is actually performing. And yes, you might be thinking, why can't I do this in another tool? You absolutely can, right? The, the point of this is that if there is one person that has access to said tool, depending on what the exporting capabilities are or how you report all this information, if it's again, important for your leadership or your manager, or your CMO to see this information all in one place, that's the use case we're going after here. As a proud Asana partner, Surface specializes in building projects and portfolios to streamline and automate marketing processes. If you're a marketing manager, VP or director, and you're looking to transition your team to Asana, and you're overwhelmed by the prospect of moving all of your marketing projects and workflows to the new platform, don't sweat it. At Surface, we handle everything from A to Z, from mapping all of your processes to the data migration and even training your team to ensure alignment and efficient use of the tool. So if you're considering moving to Asana, click the link below and book a call with us to learn more. So we can see the percentage of opens all time. Of course, when we go into the dashboards, we can further filter and do different date ranges as well to get really granular. We can see the bounce average. So again, this is on all campaigns. We can see replies. We can see the budget spent, what the budget remaining is and where we started as well. So what's really nice about this, you've got this nice dashboard for your different campaigns. And as they come into this project, you can keep track of everything in one place. Great. So let's go back to our portfolio here. We're going to drill down to paid campaigns. And so what's nice about this, I'm going to show you a couple of things. We've got the same tasks there, same basic sections. We have a triage, we're assigning them, we're reviewing them. And then when the campaigns are ongoing, they go into this section and then we can see what's finalized and finished. But for this campaign right here, you can see with our, again, really basic formula, we're looking at the total amount of the budget versus what has been spent. And so whoever is ma managing the budget of a campaign like this, we can basically come in and play with these numbers. As you can see, we've got about 250 left. If we, you know, spend a bit more, more time on this right there, we can see that this updates as well. And so we can really keep track of all of our budget kind of week to week and month to month to know when we're either getting close or when we've reached that budget. And obviously if we're getting close to it, that's the time where we go back and reassess or request more budget or involve the stakeholders to let them know that we're about to run out. And so that's what this looks like. And then when we go to our, our dashboard here, we can see similar things. So we can see that we have six ongoing paid campaigns. And of course, then we can still go into this and we can just add a filter to add a date range to understand over what period of time these campaigns we're active for. We can see the overall budget, we can see what's been spent, and then we can see what's remaining as well. And again, because we've selected the channels as a custom field in this project, we can also see where the placement is of all of these. And based on our region custom field in this project, let's go back here quickly for the different campaigns we have, we can now see what the distribution of our, our different campaigns looks like. All right. And for the last one, I'm going to show you uh, the social media requests. And so you'll recognize this project. We've used this one for a previous demo. You can see some of the old custom fields in there as well. We have our ID fields here. We've got some dummy clients here. And so the way that this works is we have a form in this case. So I'm going to open up this form for us. And I'm just going to put in some information. I don't know why I always default to him. Request title, need images for new post, right? And so type of request, this is graphic design, video copy, some photography maybe, depending on what's in the library. Request details, these are request details, doesn't matter. And what the priority is, this is high priority because I'm really important. Uh, we can attach any references here. Of course, we know how forms work already. So I'm gonna submit that and then it's going to come in to our space, beautiful, and there it is right there. So this is when it would come into the inbox. And now, of course, depending on the type of deliverable it is, in this case, it was photography and graphic design, we could then create a rule that auto assigns it to an individual, right? We know how to build rules by now. We can set the due date of that campaign. We can collect that information even in the form. We didn't do everything here. And so what's nice is that all this can now come in 
And as it's in progress, right, it's been triaged. We've assigned it to someone. We've assigned a date to it. We're estimating how long it's going to take, three hours, right? And then we can use Asana's onboard time tracking to, to track the time on this and get that actual time in there. And then we can see the status of this as well. So this is in progress and we can create rules for all that information. So with this dashboard, what it's showing you now is a total number of completed quests that have come in. These are the two that are in the completed section. We can see the incomplete requests, what's overdue, and the total requests. And then we have a little lollipop chart here that tells us the tasks by deliverable. So we have eight outstanding graphic design requests, five copy requests, and so on. And then we can see the stages that they're all in. And so if you've been managing your campaigns differently than this, and you've been thinking about a way to get the status and see the metrics that actually matter to moving the company forward, these are a few examples examples of how you can achieve that. And the, the thing that I love about Asana is it's a big open box. You can pretty much do anything you want with it. I showed you some formulas today. We looked at some custom fields. We looked at some examples of dashboards, but I always encourage you to think about your use case when you are, are building these different dashboards and campaigns, or even watching this video and thinking about how you will apply it. And so that's all for today. I really hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please hit the like button again and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And if you think of someone who would benefit from this or find this helpful, do me a favor, just go share it with them. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.